Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video we are doing what is going on? Lart. Today's video we are doing a foundation wear test. If you've been watching me, you know I love foundations, all kinds of foundations, skin tints, medium coverage, full coverage, you name it, I will test it out. Now day-to-day -day basis I like to wear skin tints, light coverage, but it is always fun to try new and different things. So that's what we are doing today with this Too Faced Born This Way undetectable medium to full coverage 24 hour wear concealer. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, so I have already applied the Too Faced Plump and Prime Primer. I really have been enjoying this primer. I think the packaging is gorgeous and I love the tackiness yet soft feel it gives your skin and now to go in with the foundation this is in the shade golden beige it is new from Too Faced it is undetectable that's the word that really grabbed my attention because don't we all want that undetectable like is she wearing makeup type look so we'll see what this bad boy brings us it is medium to full coverage foundation which means you can start it out medium and go ahead and build it up if you feel the need to this is oil free and it is a matte foundation now if you've been watching me i love dewy foundation but i'm willing to try any any kind of foundation skin tint medium coverage full coverage whatevs this is infused with coconut water we like coconut water here hyaluronic acid we love hyaluronic acid here and alpine rose which it says it helps empower skin's health and resilience all right cool you can purchase this foundation at ulta and sephora it will cost you a 40 dollars which is pretty darn too and expensive for a foundation um a little bit about it i already said it's medium coverage matte liquid it is for normal dry combination and oily skin so that's all the skin types guys it says it is a life proof foundation that controls oil and keeps you looking flawless for a full 24 hours i've said this before on my channel and i'm gonna say it again who the heck is wearing their foundation for 24 hours straight i want to know i want to know what kind of job you have like why why 24 hours wow more power to you i think i have read enough let's put this foundation to the test this is what she looks like looks like um kind of the same packaging as their other foundations i know they have super super full coverage and then they have like a foundation concealer contouring type they got a lot going on but it is a pump applicator i did pump some out to swatch it make sure it would work for me i am going to do this side with a beauty blender and then this side with a brush. I'm not going to do any color corrector. Not because I don't think I need it because <laughs> I do. But I want to see what this foundation has in store for us. All right, beauty blender. Let's do this. I'm going to start with one pump. So that is just one pump. Wow, it does look. Now this is just a first impression with the Beauty Blender. It does look really, really skin-like. Look at that. I hate looking at that compared to the whew, Lart. Wow. Okay, so that is one pump. Should I take it up a notch and go ahead and do another? Just to see, just for the sake of the video. I think I will. We'll do like a half a pump. And she still looks really good. Okay, I'm really digging this so far. Now that's just first impression. I'm not just randomly putting it on and saying go buy it. I am going to wear test it, of course. <laughs> now let's go in with a brush. This is a new brush. This is from Bling Brushes. I have their Starry Night collection. And then I went ahead and got, I can't remember what these are called. 
but the whole set is absolutely so freaking cute. I'm absolutely in love with the brush and it's really, really good quality. We'll do one full pump. And just in case you aren't aware, if you have medium coverage but you're looking for something a little lighter, use a brush instead of a beauty blender because a brush is gonna shear it out. Whereas a beauty blender places it and pushes it into the skin. Just a quick little tip a -roo for you. Why do I say those weird words? I'll never know. Okay, so I can definitely see the difference. Of course, like I said, this side looks more sheared out. This side definitely looks like it's covered more. Not like I have more makeup on, but just it's covered more. Does that make sense? And just to play fair, I'm gonna add a little bit more on the brush side, but normally, day-to-day -day life, I would have taken a brush and done the full face like that because I like a sheared out look. Okay, so this is Beauty Blender side, and this is just first application, and this is the brush side. Okay, I see what they're talking about when they say undetectable. Like, this looks really good. Just a first impression. What do you think, what is your first impression? I don't think, do you guys ever get asked that? What's your first impression when you see it applied? And do you like the beauty blender side or the brush side better? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to finish the rest of my face, concealer, you know the whole spiel, and I will be right back and we will start this wear test. I am back, you guys, full face. I kind of went with a nude look just to kind of match my, my little turtleneck. Speaking of turtlenecks, it's almost fall season, guys. I think I want to vlog, like, getting ready for fall with me, decorating my apartment and stuff. Anyways, really just got sidetracked there. This is my completed look for the day, and we are, of course, just to refresh you, wearing the Too Faced Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation oil-free 24 hour wear now i will do a lot a lot a lot a lot for you guys y'all are my rock stars but i'm not gonna wear this for 24 hours especially you know we're all wearing these masks and i'm back to work i don't know about you but i'm back to work and i have to wear it eight plus hours a day it's already messing with my skin so i feel like you know, the eight hours is plenty, considering I'm already concerned about my skin. But if you know somebody or you yourself make a uh, video on doing a 24 hour wear test, I'd love to see. Let me know. I'm dead serious. I will watch it and comment and support you like nobody's business. Down to the nitty gritty. It is 11.31 in the morning, close to afternoon. We still have a whole day ahead of us. I will check back in at 7.30 or later. So it might be later, I might utilize a little more time than eight hours, so maybe. But I am going to leave it at that. I am looking, you know, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this vibe, this look, a little bit of glam, everything else is kind of toned down with the nude. Um, but yeah, I'm not going anywhere. It is a rainy day here in North Carolina, and that's okay. I'm going to uh, vacuum. Okay guys, I will see you at my next check-in for this so far beautiful foundation from Too Faced. Please stay tuned and I will see you in a little bit. Okay guys, I am back. It is 7.33 in the evening. I made it back. I made it back in one piece. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do anything today. I stayed here. <laughs> um, let's dig into this foundation after eight hours. This is the foundation we are working with today. We are looking over. It is the Born This Way um, Matte Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation, oil free, 24 hour wear. That's a big claim. 
And this is my face after eight hours. Did it stay put? Yes, yes it did. I of course, I think y'all can see it too, but I am noticing um, it looks oily right here beside my nose. Can y'all see that? Yes. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. This is a close up. Wow, and my hair looks a mess, but it's okay. Um, this, it still looks very, very beautiful. I do see where they put undetectable in the title. What is going on? It does have a skin-like finish and it stays looking like a skin-like finish. There isn't any caking, everything looks smooth. And it still looks freshly applied I guess you would say it doesn't look like I've been wearing makeup for eight plus hours or however long you plan on wearing it this looks this looks beautiful it really does wow this may have just become my uh, favorite medium coverage yeah this looks beautiful let me know what you guys think maybe you guys see it different on camera versus me who's looking in a mirror sometimes that does look a little different but what else so i do really really like it it is beautiful this is after an eight hour wear test mind you i did not go to work or out at all so maybe someone going to work or sweating a little bit or whatever out in the sun maybe it reacts differently to that but from what I'm seeing, this is a beautiful foundation. Way to go, Too Faced. Way to go, Too Faced. This is beautiful. Okay, check-in is done. It is time for me to go take this guy out because I did not take it off once, which I'm really surprised because normally, like, things on my head tend to give me a migraine, but it didn't. I'm very shocked. But before it does, I'm going to go take this out, wash this makeup off, and enjoy the rest of my night. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are my rock stars. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.